All right, students, I'm going to take a little bit of time here to introduce you to one of the apps that we will be using or that you have available for you to use uh, this semester. Um, it's a way to help digitize your handwritten homework, notes, tests, labs, etc. So this app is called um, ScanBot. And I, I do recommend it um, for certain instances, like you're using a notebook like this right here. So if we take a look at this, uh, here, this is a notebook from one of my classes, and it's got information in here. If I want to digitize this, I can take a picture of it but that never looks quite good. Uh, it's extremely difficult to read on a computer and it makes grading it hard, uh, especially if you're writing in pencil because the pencil glares whenever you take a picture of it. Uh, so you'll see why this is so much better than just taking a pictures once we get into it. Um, if you've already looked at the Rocketbook app, uh, you'll begin to see why this is a little bit different because the Rocketbook app needs that black border and the QR code uh, to make it work. This app doesn't. Um, I'm not saying this is better than the Rocketbook because we have ways to get around those functions in Rocketbook. Uh, this is an alternate option. So I'm going to open up this ScanBot app. And when it comes up, the first thing you come to is the capture window. And a few of the things I want you to take a look at. So. You can see up here at the top, we have this selection that says multi-page. Uh, when it's colored, that means you can take multiple pictures and it'll save it in one document. Uh, you can turn your flash on to add more light. I recommend leaving it off because it'll create glares. And then there's the automatic uh, in the right hand side. That automatic features means it'll look for borders of a paper and automatically take a picture. Um, I don't care for that, especially when you start uh, working with double page notebooks uh, or odd sizes of paper or the whiteboard. So if I hold up, you can see it's starting to try and find edges. It looks for straight lines. Uh, and the longer I sit still, the better it gets at it. So then all I got to do is hit the camera and it'll take a snap <clears throat> and it saves it. Now I could take multiples because I have multi, multi page on, uh, but I'm only going to go with this one for now. So if I hit right here on the right side, it says one page. I click it. Now I go into the editing portion of it. And if you look at it, it the picture here doesn't look quite like the actual page. Um, because it cropped it funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the crop button and you can see what it cropped around, which lines it thought were the most important. It's a computer, it's not perfect. But I can drag these bars around to find the edge of the page and you can see how it jumps around kind of funny trying to find it. With notebooks you tend to get waviness and it has a hard time with this. You can see up here in this top left corner that it didn't pick it out quite right. So I can tap on the <coughs> circle and move it around. And if you see right there on the top right hand corner, it gives me a little zoom in on it with uh, <coughs> a gradical that I can zero in on the center point. So I can leave it there and I get a better straight line. Um, so I'm going to hit the save button. I could hit the <coughs> back button up here in the top right corner and it would undo any changes I made. But I like where we're at and it's going to save that. So here you can see I've got the full page here and it looks more like a Xerox now than it looks like just a picture of a page. If I go to the filter tab, you can see I have multiple filters here to choose from. The one that I like the most is the black and white. It gives you a more Xerox type effect. So <laughs> we can go through gray scale. And if you look at reduced color, um, you have that option too. No filter, you can see what it actually looks like. Uh, this one came out fairly good because of the lighting setup I have here. 
but when I switch over to the black and white, you can see how much easier it is to read. This benefits you because I can grade it more accurately. So <clears throat> I'm not going to make any changes there. If I had took a picture long ways or something like that, I could rotate the image uh, to make it easier to read. Uh, I could come up here and rename it. I can add tags. Uh, to make it easier to search through my saved uh, menus. I can add dates, all kinds of stuff, uh, locations, um, just to make it easier for you to understand. Um, now you see these, these settings are uh, ScanBot Pro, the location and time and stuff like that. You don't need the Pro for this to work. Um, so you can name it something fancy. Uh, to make it easier to remember, like uh, chapter one, homework one. Um, I'm going to leave it as and just hit save. And now I have it here. I can bring it back up at any time. <coughs> now if you get the pro version, this has the <coughs> uh, text recognition to where it can read your handwriting and give you a searchable document. I don't recommend paying for it. The Rocketbook app has that for free as long as you're using Rocketbook uh, pages. So now I can share it and I can share it um, in just the picture or the PDF. I recommend the PDF and here you can use any, almost any app that is on your phone whether it's Android or iOS. So we can see Gmail, Outlook, Drive, OneDrive. This is just the stuff I have on mine. Um, it's the Android native share feature. Um, I also have emails to where I can send it through any email app. And then there's more options as well. Um, some of these I've never even heard of. So it's up to you on that, how you want to go about doing that. But it's pretty easy. I'm going to share this and I'm going to send it uh, to my OneDrive account. And then I can just pick my folder and then hit the check mark and it's going to upload it to my OneDrive for me uh, and be done. So that's the ScanBot app. That's how to properly use it um, to get the most legible and easy to read uh, copy of your homework or lab assignment to me. So good luck with that. and. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out to me and I can further help explain this to you.